What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are going to be for the star signs of Scorpio. This is going to be for the single star sign of Scorpio for the rest of the month of June 2020. So take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they're specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already gone ahead and pulled your cards off camera for you, Scorpio, so let's get right into it. We've got the Page of Cups and the Moon. So right off the bat, this is going to be one of two things. It's either that somebody is giving you emotion and because you are afraid of relationships because of whatever happened in your past you are afraid of this and you are uncertain of where this can go or you are coming out of a period of uncertainty and you are questing for somebody and having the reverse happen where you don't know if they're going if it's if they want to take it on you're going to have anxieties about this still so either way that you want to split this I do see this as anxieties um, more or less so being handled on your end but I see this as somebody is coming in with a gift it doesn't matter who it is if it's you or somebody giving it to you it doesn't matter somebody giving somebody a gift of emotion this can be an invitation out to go to drinks or dinner or date um, it's somebody giving you their emotion as to hey I think like I, I like you I'm attracted to you blah 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 that is the kind of energy I get with the page of cups because it's always news of a beginning so it'd be a beginning energy with this person like hey I'm interested etc um, but having this come in for whatever reason is going to make somebody feel very anxious and that they don't have the full answers that they need in a situation be it wh what it is so I am gonna pull for why is the moon here what are the uncertainties in the situation with the moon why 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's this I, I could this is almost like the same energy. The Nine of Swords is anxiety. You are afraid of what you do not know, specifically when it comes to emotion. Because I pulled the Nine of Swords, I think it's gonna be more so that somebody is coming in giving you emotion and you aren't going to be able to feel very sturdy in it. I feel like you're going to get into a repeat pattern of a cycle of self sabotage where hey, like, oh my god, I offered this person wants to see me or I offered this person my hand and like oh let's go out to date or something I, like I offered my hand for invitation and emotion and oh my god if it I think it actually might be reciprocated I think that's why you're scared but it's like the same old same old repeating process of hey like I've, I've been through this situation before I am constantly afraid of these certain things in the relationship because of X Y and Z I, I see this as a repeating kind of cycle where it keeps you up at night I feel like you have a hard time I'm hearing this specifically where I feel like you have a hard time in relationships specifically because of your anxiety and specifically because in the past you would have had a lot of unanswered questions especially when it comes to romance and I'm hearing for very few of you that if this is somebody from your past it, it might be the same person coming in and you're afraid of having that repeat cycle with this person that's only going to be for a very few amount of you though um, or who, know, who knows how it actually is going to resonate but I feel like this is going to be a situation where you are going to be afraid of this emotion because of the hard knocks that you've had in the past when it comes to your um, relationships and how relationships break down. It's saying that you don't have all the answers that you need to know, which is not necessarily a knock. It's not saying, oh, hey, this person is doing this negative thing to you. It's saying you just don't have the full answers to what you need in a relationship or you're not sure how to get around the anxieties that come out in a relationship. It doesn't have to be so sensitive around oh my god this person's bad this person is like this 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 I see this more being a I have unanswered questions where it comes to how am I gonna get around these roadblocks that are put in my way in relationships because every time I get into a relationship it falls apart the same way I gotta figure out how to get around it how do we get around these obstacles so now that I'm hearing that very clearly how does Scorpio get around these obstacles easiest card Literally, it's literally telling you that you can already do this. You are stable, even though you don't feel like you are. You are somebody in a position of power. You are somebody with leadership capabilities. You understand structure. You might be in uh, some sort of areas in your chart, but this would represent 
this would represent a situation where you have a lot more power than you think you do and all that is required for you to get around these obstacles is to plan ahead and um, so planning ahead making sure that things are structured putting down your boundaries I'm hearing that quick pretty strongly put down your boundaries of exactly what you need and what you don't need in a relationship I think the word boundaries and I'm seeing a wall so I think that you're either going to have to knock down some walls when it comes to boundaries or knocking down the wall is going to represent that uh, that's what you have to do in order to start having these plans I think I th I'm seeing the wall as the obstacle as maybe something to do with the ego I feel like it's something where um, breaking down the wall hold on I'm not used to channeling messages like this um, breaking down the wall when it comes to ego I think that you have to break down some sort of large part of yourself in order to have progress but I feel like those walls have to be taken down in order for you to get around them um, and when I say that it's this kind of wall I really feel like it's going to be the situation where maybe you aren't fully addressing the problem maybe you aren't maybe you are aware of this wall but maybe you aren't putting down the effort to get around it and I think that's where the Emperor comes in it says that you have the ability to break down these insecurities and instabilities in your life to rebuild it into something that would suit you better and that's the message that I'm hearing for you Scorpio so with that take care I'll see you on the flip side and peace out my moon tribe